In Ealing last year, a call from a concerned resident who hadn't seen her neighbour for some time resulted in the body of a woman being found. The body was later identified as 35-year-old Shakira Spencer, described as a beautiful soul who cared deeply about people. Just after midnight, we received a call from someone who said their nephew had confessed that he and two women had killed someone named Shakira. This was now a murder investigation. We had our suspects, Ashana Studholm, Sean Pendlebury and Lisa Richardson, and they were arrested the same morning. They've been arrested on suspicion of the murder of Shakira Spencer. Upon questioning, they either made no comment or provided wholly dishonest accounts. Do you have anything to do with her death? No, I did not. No, do I did you not. know who did? Our challenge now was to build the evidential case and seek to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that they were responsible for Shakira's death. Multiple properties and vehicles became crime scenes and what would become an extensive and complex investigation. Our forensic experts were able to identify blood spatter on the walls of Shakira's flat with a significant amount found inside a cupboard. It was a DNA match to Shakira. Despite the length of time Shakira's body had been left undiscovered, evidence of a number of injuries were still identifiable, consistent with a pattern of physical abuse. A broken off false nail had been found in Shakira's hallway and was a DNA match to Ashana. My team collected and reviewed more than 8,500 hours of footage to help piece together the complex web of relationships and timeline of events. The suspects could be seen coming and going from Ashana's house, along with a clearly injured Shakira. Shakira's bank cards were also being used. Checking CCTV revealed that it was actually Ashana using them in a number of shops. Searching Ashana's flat revealed bloodstains on a doorframe that was a DNA match to Shakira. Clips were recovered from Lisa Richardson's phone showing Shakira being beaten along with threatening messages and voice notes that demonstrated a controlling and abusive influence over Shakira. Searching Sean's house, blood-stained shoes were recovered. CCTV showed him wearing these shoes while disposing of evidence. A red Honda Civic that Sean had borrowed was spotted on CCTV, traveling to the flat for a final time. A forensic investigation of the vehicle discovered blood in the boot of the car. It was a match to Shakira. Our investigation concluded that a bleeding Shakira had been forced into the boot, taken to her flat and left in a cupboard to die. When she sadly succumbed to her injuries, they made every effort to erase evidence, leaving her body amongst ice packs to delay discovery. Whatever their cruel and sadistic motives were, Shakira was isolated from her friends and family, tortured and beaten over a prolonged period of time culminating in her death. In a victim impact statement, her family said, we will never be able to comprehend their cruelty. Nothing will bring Shakira back to us and her children will now grow up without a mother. This tragic case and complex police investigation was led by a dedicated and committed team of Metropolitan Police officers and staff. Their unwavering efforts directly led to convictions and justice being secured.